Now, drilling through wood is easy, but what happens when you're confronted with something like cinder block? What kind of drill bit do you use? Or on quarter inch steel, aluminum, brass can be tricky. What about copper? It's a soft metal. But here we go. This is stainless steel, and stainless steel is tough. And what about just something as simple as plastic? What drill bit do you use? Well, I'm going to tell you coming up next. I just want to thank Drill Doctor for sponsoring today's video. Hi, everybody. I'm Liam CJ Drill, and if this is your first time here, can I just say welcome? We're a home improvement channel. We're Beginners are welcomed as well. In fact, we encourage beginners to join the CJ Drill community. Now, here's the thing. If you are a DIYer and you're working on a wood project, it doesn't matter if it's a, a wood project with pine or maple or oak, chances are you know what drill bit to use. But what happens if you're drilling through copper? or you need to drill through stainless steel? Or what if you need to drill through cinder block? Then what do you use? And that's when people get a little confused. They're not certain, well, do I use a titanium coated? Should I go with a cobalt? Should I use um, a carbide tipped drill bit? What? Do I need, can I use a regular drill bit that I use on wood? It can be a little confusing. Even those who are seasoned DIYers sometimes stumble here. So you go to the hardware store and you go to the aisle that has the drill bits and well you're faced with this. A large choice of different kinds of drill bits. How do you know which one is the right one for the job that you're doing? Now for example, I'm sure a lot of people have heard of cobalt drill bits, but what do you use it for? And then over here, well, this is titanium coated. This is very popular as well. It's probably one of the most common, and it's black oxide coated drill bits. What's the proper drill bit for the proper job? Well, I'm going to tell you in this video. Now, before you get started in drilling in metal, you want to make certain that you use a lubricant. It'll keep the bit nice and cool. And I always use a center punch to mark the center of any metal I'm going to drill through because it gives it a little dimple and it gives the drill bit something to ride in. Then last, make certain that you're wearing your safety glasses. Now, what we have here are... Uh, two general purpose drill bits. You'll find these two in just about every toolbox. This is HSS, which is high speed steel. And this drill bit here, well, it's HSS as well. It just has a coating of black oxide to, you know, prolong the life of the drill bit. Now, what I will tell you is these two drill bits, they can handle most, you know, DIY tasks like drilling through wood and plastic and soft metals like copper. What we have here is a very common drill bit as well. It's a masonry bit and it's perfect for drilling through brick and concrete, cinder block. And what I will tell you is this. Now you can't use an ordinary drill with this bit. You have to make certain that you use a hammer drill or a roto drill. If you notice, our, the tip of our drill bit is a little different in shape. And in addition to that, it's a diamond ground carbide tip. So next up is our titanium coated drill bit. Now what I will tell you is this. This is a general purpose bit as well. It's a drill bit that's HSS, that's high speed steel, covered with titanium. It's got a titanium coating. And it's good for wood. It's also good for PVC and sheet metal and brass and copper, some of the softer metals. And sometimes every now and then I'll, I'll use a, a titanium uh, coated drill bit to take on a more difficult job. Next up is our cobalt 
drill bit. And what I'm going to tell you is this, they're heavy hitters. And what I mean by that is they're really meant for industrial commercial use. If you're a DIYer, chances are you're not going to use a cobalt very often. And they're very pricey. The one thing that I like to use cobalt drill bits for is stainless steel because they can make easy work of it. It's also good for uh, cast iron and um, some of your more tougher metals, your thicker steels. I wouldn't recommend that you have a lot of these, but you may want to just have a few on hand. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time. Folks, i got to tell you something. I've been using a tool in my shop lately, and it has changed the way I look at drill bits. I'm a little embarrassed to say this, but I would take my drill bits, and I would use them and use them until they were spent, and I would throw them away and buy new ones. But recently, I've been using a tool in my shop for the last few months called the Drill Doctor, and it has changed all of that. There is nothing as simple as sharpening your drill bit in a drill doctor. The drill doctor is easy to locate at Home Depot, Lowe's, and Amazon. Sharp matters.